Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen. I'm That Fat Guy, and today I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do a cooking video. <laughs> A lot of people ask me to do more cooking videos, but I am not too comfortable in the kitchen. I am not a chef. And uh, we're gonna do something for the first time today. I am going to make a lamb roast with semi-dried tomato, uh, feta, and spinach. Uh, first time I've ever done something like this, so we'll see how it turns out, and we'll kind of learn together. All right, guys, so here is the recipe. Uh, it looks beautiful. So we've got baby leaf spinach right here. We have got Danish style feta and we've got semi-dried tomatoes, Mediterranean style. Now it does ask for two lamb mini roasts, roughly the size of a closed fist. I went out and bought a whole lamb leg. Australian, beautiful piece of lamb. It has already been boned and uh, tenderized by my lovely butcher. What we're gonna do first is we're gonna make the stuffing and then we're gonna figure out how to turn this into that, okay? You can see that this is a pretty significant piece of lamb. It is a great big lamb leg, which has been deboned and tenderized and butterflied for me. Uh, it is about 1.8 kilos. So what I'm thinking for now is I might just cut it straight down the middle there, right where that right where that muscle joins there, or like that little bit of sinew. So I think that'll be a good spot right there. Look at that, look at that. So, what we're gonna do is uh, put the stuffing in. I've got some twine here, we're gonna um, uh, wrap it up. best to tie this up. I am going to use um, some skewers as well just to kind of hold it because uh, I am not the best at tying so it seems. <laughs> them to the pan, the baking dish, and they're all cooked together. All right, just pulled it out of the oven. Look at those potatoes, look how crispy they look. Look how good that roast looks. What we're gonna do is we're gonna let it sit for about 10 minutes, and it's good enough to eat. There you go, ladies and gents. I cannot wait to get tucked into that. There she is there. Beautiful. So fast forward a few days, it is now Friday. I'm out having my lunchtime walk and that roast was beautiful. I think it looked very similar to the recipe in the book, which is always a good thing, good sign. Cooked maybe a little bit too long, but I don't have a meat thermometer and I was just kind of estimating to how long it would take in the uh, oven, but I think it turned out beautifully, beautifully. Uh, so I highly recommend anyone make that if uh, you are in the mood for a nice piece of lamb. 
If you can find the mini roast, it will make it a lot easier, uh, so you don't have to manually tie it or anything. But as you saw, it's fairly straightforward. Uh, just follow your nose. You can't go wrong. If I can cook it, you can cook it. <laughs> uh, so yeah, being that it is Friday, uh, it's just more of a relaxed kind of feel to the day, which is great. Thank you to everyone who tuned into the live stream last night. It was a special extended edition where I sat and watched the football live. And as you saw, there's a completely different side of me, uh, the football side of it. <laughs> but it was great having a chat to you all and uh, spending the time with you and going over a few of the comments I've received over the last week. The support that I've gotten from you guys is absolutely outstanding. I'm now over a thousand subscribers, so I honestly still can't believe it. I'm so excited for it. And uh, yeah, on to the next challenge. Got to keep losing this weight. Yeah, not a huge uh, amount of plans for this coming weekend. Just the usual kind of hanging out with the family stuff. I can't really think of anything that I need to do, which is actually kind of nice. <laughs> anyway guys, let us know in the comments below on what your thoughts were on my cooking video, whether you liked it, whether you want to see more, whether you have any suggestions for recipes. Let me know. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, throw us a like, give us a comment, do all that, and have yourself a lovely weekend. I'll see you all tomorrow. I love you all, and there's absolutely nothing that you can do about it.